What's up, guys? I'm at my office right now. And um, I just had a customer on these uh, grass cuts. She really messed my week up. Um, I pride myself on uh, doing the best job that I can. I don't know about some of you guys. You guys might be able to do more work than I can. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you guys can do probably twice the amount of yards that I can. But the yards that I'm going to do, I try to do at the best prices. Um, here's all my checks. I I do it right. I do it A1. And uh, I know I come in. Um, I don't come in at super high prices, but I don't come in at super low prices. I kind of come in at a very decent price and uh, I take into account um, the people if you look like a decent person I take that into account I take into account the size and I want to start getting into some hardscapes I'm probably gonna get some type of machinery sooner or later but um it's my, my little office right here right here on the office right behind my living room but um so lady gives me the check this actual one for the grass cuts for the month and then she proceeds to uh tell me that she needs some shrubs trimmed now i don't mind cutting shrubs i don't mind uh doing mulch but the mulch for me has to be a six yard or under because i'm i'm solo um that's my limit and then um Shrub trim for me has to be 30 shrubs or under. And uh, she had 35 and I was wheeling and dealing with her. So um, we went around and we counted, we counted all the shrubs. She had, she actually had 35 and um, I just kind of went with it and I said, hey, you got about 30 shrubs here. So there's already a little discount. And um, I was telling her it's six to eight for a medium sized shrub. Um, I have a minimum of about 50 to $70 if I like you. And once you get past the minimum, you don't have to pay the minimum anymore. You just got to pay what you're at. So, all in all, it was $150. And uh, I get a text message after I'm done. I have my dad on this job with me. And um, I don't have my dad on there too many jobs. But I'm always grateful for him helping out. But like I said, I don't have him on, on too many jobs with me. And um, so the lady texts me. And I said, uh, does everything look good? She says, yeah, everything looks great. And uh, she says, she's going to pay me $60. Is this feasible? That's what the text message said. Uh, it pissed me off all week. It cut into work quality on other people. Um, and the thing is, she's richer than me. Um, $150 to me, I already... It's it's a good amount of money for me. Um, $150 to me, I know it doesn't mean a lot. But a richer person... Acting over a broker person like me, um, acting like uh, she could just lower that down to 60 when we walked the property and agreed to all this. It really messed my week up. And um, I guess what I'm saying is, like, it gets so frustrating. I only, ha I only have, uh, I didn't even want to take the job. I didn't even want to take the job because I knew she was already late with her checks. So in a way, you could kind of say, you know, you shouldn't have taken the job. But also, I have 10 other grass customers. So, and the limit I do for that, the limit I do for that is I'll do four push mows max. That's max. I won't do more than four push mows because push mows are, are a little more tiring. So, I'll do four push mows and I'll do probably six zero turns. Um, or if you have a zero turn and a push mow, I'll consider that both. So whichever comes first. So I could have six zero turns of which two need to be push mode and then two push modes. Or I could have six zero turn only and then four push modes. It's whatever comes first. My point is, I know I'm already giving, i always giving these people the right, the, not the right price, but a good price. So when you haggle with me, you're cutting into my work quality because I'm, I'm already starting to get irritated with you. And uh, like I said, most of my most of my customers, most of my customers don't do that shit. They don't do that shit. But um, it just it's ridiculous the mindset of these people. 
the firmer you are, the better you'll be. Because the less nice you are, the better you'll be. The less break you give, the less break you, you the better you'll be. And I'm telling you this, it makes no sense to me. Because I'm a genuinely nice person. <sighs> Starting not to give a fuck. But like, listen to me for a second here. If you cut in and say, no, there, there can't be a deal here. That you have. This is what the price is. And this is why the price is that. They will know they can't mess with you. If you start getting nice, like, oh, this is one of one of the best yards that I do. This always this always looks great. They'll know that you care. Um, another thing, yeah, so they'll know that you care, and then they'll know they can they can try to push you around. I can't stand the mindset of some of these people out here, bro. They think they can push you around because I'm a genuinely nice person. It it baffles me. Like, cause I'm not ready. I'm I'm not ready to be like a dickhead to people. I'm going to get my money either way and I usually do. But what I'm saying is like why some customers so stupid that you have to be a dickhead to them? I just don't get it. It's it's just it's it's beyond me. And um that lady really had me fucked up. She had me fucked up. Because one, I will go back and I will cut her shrubs. I will, like, cut them, like, fully. And two, she has me fucked up because we agreed on the fucking price. Dude, it's just... Anyways, those are some of my, um, what do you call it, um, lines that I have. So, if I get a bad vibe from you, I'm not going to work for you, um... If you, if you um, make me feel ungrateful, I probably will cut you a slack once. If you do it again, I'll fire the contract. Um, I don't take more than push, four, four push mowers um, and six zero turns. Like I was saying, if you have six zero turns, but three of them you got to use a push mower for as well, then that leaves room for only one more push mower. I'm only solo. And the other thing people don't get is they think when you're solo... They think you should be able to charge less. I'm solo. I'm gonna start charging people more, and um, I'm I'm actually going to like um for these some of these charges you have to you have to put into the bill because you can you you have to tell them up front too, but you have to put it into the invoice because if they see it in the invoice, they're gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna ask him for that again. So. It's it's almost like a cause and effect. Oh, if I don't keep like uh, uh, what do you call it? Irritating him, asking for something a freebie. I won't get charged for it. You have to you have to put some consequences in effect. Is otherwise what I'm saying. So it's it's just it's crazy the mindset. I I I genuinely cannot wrap my head around it. Um, and luckily. Luckily, I haven't had to deal with it too much. Had to deal with it on two people so far. Out of uh, out of ten, or out of eleven, and um, guys, it really cuts into work quality. One person, like I like I said, it's 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 insane because the one ungrateful client will cut into your whole work week. Like I'm, I'm professional. I know to give a one. I know to give a one at all times. But like one person, not paying you, can cut into your whole work week. I don't know, guys. I'm talking too much. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. I'm out.